This is the setup for the Newton's second law experiment. Again, we are using the Vernier uh, dynamics track. We have a cart, and we are using the force sensor for this experiment to measure the force acting on the cart. And the cart is connected through the force sensor to a hanging mass, and we have a photogate in here to measure the position and speed, the velocity of the cart during the motion. And also, of course, uh, these sensors are connected to the LabQuest 2. And we are going to use these weights for the hanging mass to supply the five different forces on the moving track. And on each run, we are going to change the masses. So this will change the force acting linearly on the cart. And for each run, we will record the force value through the force sensor. And also, during the motion, since we will have the position and velocity time graph, from that, during the motion, we will calculate from the linear feet, we will calculate the acceleration. So for each run, one thing we have to record is on this data table, the force acting on the cart and the acceleration of the cart. So these are going to be recorded on the table with the, of course, error values and the error values are to be calculated from the lab quest. And at the very end, as you can guess, we will draw a linear force versus acceleration graph. Okay? So from this graph, you will be able to determine the mass of the cart, moving cart, and this will verify the Newton's second law, which is F is equal to M times A. Okay, now uh, we have the first mass on the hanging, uh, which is attached to the uh, pulley and in turn attached to cart. So we will uh, start our experiment by taking the cart to its initial position somewhere here. And since the string is connected to the hanging mass, now we have a constant force acting on the cart. When I leave the cart, as you can see, the cart will try to accelerate and it will come to the uh, end point of the track uh, by hitting it. So this is the motion that we have going to analyze. But before we start, let, let's do some... Uh, Pre uh, preparation on the lab quest. So we start the lab quest, and since we have two sensors connected to the lab quest, you see here the red one is the meter for the force because the force sensor is connected to the lab quest, and the blue one is the uh, meter coming from the uh, pulley photogate, and this measures the position and the velocity of the cart. So we have to uh, first uh, do some uh, setup. First of all, we will uh, make the force in the reverse. Now uh, there is a constant, almost constant force acting on the cart, which reads at uh, 0 0.6 something newtons. And before we start, we have to set up the uh, photogate, photogate timing, and for this I push this part of the lab quest, and I bring the uh, photogate mode to pulley. This is 10 spokes, this means the pulley has 10 uh, spokes. I can just uh, check it by counting them. And we want that we should end the data collection after, let's say, 45 events. That means uh, after the uh, 45 strokes is passing through the uh, photo sensor. So this should be 45. And these are photogate timing, the mode, and the photogate mode is motion. So this is the setup for photogate timing. And we push OK. And now we are ready 
to take our first run. So for this I bring the card to its initial position somewhere here. Okay. And just hold it. And what I will do is uh, I will press this data collection button on the lab quest and after pressing that I will release the card. So let me do it now. Just release the card. Okay. So as you see the data is collected in here and the first graph is force versus time graph. There are many zigzags in here that means and since the, uh, the force sensor is very sensitive, uh, the, there are variations in the force, but these variations are in, in around this uh, some mean value, and we have to record this mean value. What we do first, let, let's record the force acting on the card, and for this, we just choose statistics, and we are, since we are measuring the force, we, put, we choose force. Here, when you pu push, what you see here is the mean value of these exact forces, which is 0 0.655 newtons. So what I'm doing is I'm just recording this value on the table, 0 0.655. But also I have to record the error value. The error value is nothing but it is given in the uh, uh, lab quest, also 0. 007. Okay, so since we have three decimal points in the mean value, I have to take the first um, three decimal points after the zero. 0. 0. 0. 0.007 is the error value, and I record this on the table. So next is to determine the acceleration. Again, we will find the acceleration from the lab quest. And for this, we will use the second graph. Well, in the second graph, to find the acceleration, only we need velocity. So you see, there is a linear change in the velocity. And by just calculating the uh, slope of this linear change in the velocity, we will be able to find the acceleration. So let's do it. And we push Analyze. And we choose Curve Fit. And we choose the velocity in here. So we have. Uh, the velocity versus time graph, since it's almost a linear uh, graph, we choose the linear fit. And the lab quest uh, suddenly uh, fits this curve to a linear curve, and it calculates the slope, and the slope is 0 0.10229. So this is the uh, acceleration in meter per second because the slope in the velocity time graph will give you the acceleration. Let's record this. Uh, it is 10229. Of course we have also uh, the error value in this and this error value is already calculated in, in the linear fit, this is the RMS E value here. This is the error in the acceleration. After the decimal point, we have five digits, and so I take first five digits after the decimal point one, two, three, four, five, zero, zero, two hundred seventy two. And I record this zero, 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 two hundred seventy two meter per second. So we complete taking the uh, first data okay, in our uh, force versus acceleration table. And we will repeat this experiment by taking another mass okay, by increasing the mass on the hanger. So this time, of course, we will repeat the same experiment, but since the force now is different on the cart, and the cart will have a different acceleration. Again, by using the same method as we did in the uh, first part, by using the same method, we will uh, record the force value uh, by taking the statistics. 
and also we will find the acceleration by just uh, curve fitting the velocity versus time graph and we will record these values on the table and we will have in total five runs when you complete these five runs you will be ready to plot the F, the force versus acceleration graph. So your force versus acceleration graph after plotting of course you will use all the graphical methods and you will use the plot the uh, web for to do this and you will also use in your graph these uh, error values because at the end you will find the error value in your slope and the slope will give you the mass of the cart and the mass of the cart will also be uh, measured by uh, the scale or by just uh, directly measuring the weight from the scale and we will compare these masses that we measured from the scale and also the measured uh, calculated from the graph and this, this will be uh, used to verify the Newton second law of the force versus m times a and we'll, you will complete the uh, experiment by just uh, preparing your report.